Hey everyone, welcome back to All Things Marine Life. Today we're plunging into the dark, mysterious depths of the ocean to meet one of the cutest critters on the planet, the Flapjack Octopus. If you're thinking this creature sounds familiar, you might recall Pearl from Finding Nemo. Yes, that adorable pink octopus that said, you guys made me ink, was actually inspired by these real life pancake shaped wonders. The flapjack octopus is a deep sea cephalopod, meaning it's related to squids, cuttlefish, and other octopuses. But unlike many of its cousins, it has a rounder, almost cartoon-like body, giving it that super adorable look we all love. In fact, this octopus is so endearing and cute that scientists once pondered naming a species of it Opisthotuthis adorabilis, or simply adorabilis. Imagine having a scientific name that literally translates to adorable. They're sometimes found in bright red, pink, and orange flavors, though the deep sea can make colors look a bit different. And get this, the name Flapjack comes from how their bodies can flatten against the seafloor, much like a pancake spreads out on a hot griddle. Trust me, once you've seen them flapped out, you'll understand exactly why they earned this delicious moniker. Aside from their pudgy shape, flapjack octopuses are equipped with small hair-like structures called cirri. You'll see these tiny filaments lining their arms and they help detect food in the sediment as they glide along the ocean floor. Think of them like the whiskers on a cat just miniaturized for cephalopod life. Now, since they inhabit the ocean's twilight and midnight zones, typically hundreds to thousands of meters below the surface, Red wavelengths of light rarely make it down there. Interestingly enough, many flapjack octopuses appear red, which in the darkness basically renders them nearly invisible to predators. It's like an organic invisibility cloak. And while these guys might look like skilled swimmers, after all, they're octopuses, they're actually not the best swimmers. Instead, they use their umbrella-like webbing to help them parachute or drift slowly downward when they want to move. Imagine opening a little lacy umbrella and floating along with the currents. Pretty neat, right? Before we go deeper, let's talk about the flapjack octopus genus, Opisthotuthis. This genus encompasses a group of serrate octopuses, meaning they have those nifty little cirri. Within this genus, you'll find a bunch of species, around 24 that have been described so far, though the total number might continue to grow as we learn more about them. Marine biologists are constantly discovering new species or reclassifying old ones as technology allows us to explore deeper parts of the ocean. Submarines equipped with high definition cameras and ROVs or remote operated vehicles give us glimpses into habitats once beyond our reach. Every time we descend down there, there's a chance we might meet a new member of the flapjack family or at least gather new insights into how they live. So what does a flapjack octopus snack on in the dark depths? They feed on tiny worms and small crustaceans. With their cirri, they sift through the sediment, feeling for movement like searching for hidden morsels under the sand, and sometimes you'll see them flatten out on the seabed looking more like an alien pancake than an octopus, or you might even catch them using that famous umbrella shape to drift gently above the floor in search of food. Interestingly enough, Flapjack octopuses tend to move quite slowly. They're not built for speed like some of their shallower water relatives, instead they rely on the element of surprise and stealth. Drifting down gently can be a great strategy. Imagine you're a tiny crustacean, minding your own business on the seafloor when the dim silhouette of a flapjack octopus just floats down from above and poof, your lunch. Now when it comes to defense, these guys don't have many of the tricks that other octopuses wield. No fancy color changing cells called chromatophores, no ink sacs to squirt at enemies. They can't even mimic their surroundings like a cuttlefish or a mimic octopus. So how do they survive? First off, they rely on the darkness of the deep sea. Being bright red might not work at the surface. Can you imagine a bright red octopus living among coral reefs? They would stick out like a sore thumb. But once you get past a certain depth, red light simply disappears. This means that a creature sporting a vibrant red hue is practically invisible in the abyss. It's a brilliant bit of evolutionary camouflage. Secondly, their body shape helps. They're small and they can flatten against the seafloor or drift off inconspicuously. Essentially, the best strategy is out of sight, out of mind. They're too small and too inconspicuous for many predators to bother with unless they literally bump into them. Are you ready for some quick fire flapjack octopus facts? Let's go! Hollywood cameo. As I mentioned earlier, the adorable pink octopus Pearl in Finding Nemo was inspired by a flapjack octopus. 
Disney Pixar animators love using real-life ocean animals for their character designs. However, Pearl would not be found on a coral reef, as I previously mentioned. Adorable for science. One species might still end up getting an official name that includes the word adorabilis. Scientists initially called it Opisthotuthis sp adorabilis because of its undeniably cute appearance. Let's be honest, if there's any creature that deserves the label adorable, it's this one. Pancake pose, that flattened shape they take on when resting is reminiscent of a pancake, thus flapjack. It's one of those times where common names make the most perfect sense. They're a very slow swimmer, and, and if you're ever diving in the deep sea, which is extremely rare and specialized, you might get to see them just gliding. They look like a living parachute or a gently twirling umbrella. It's mesmerizing and almost comical. The deep sea research that happens with them often expresses how thrilling it is to encounter these creatures. After hours of scanning the dark abyss with ROV cameras, seeing a bright or pastel colored little octopus is like stumbling upon a cartoon character in real life. Ongoing research focuses on their DNA to figure out relationships between different species of flapjack octopuses. With new technologies, we're unlocking hidden genetic secrets of the deep sea. You might wonder, why should we care about a tiny pancake-like octopus in the middle of the ocean's depths? Well, deep sea ecosystems are vital to the health of our planet. They play a huge role in carbon cycling, nutrient distribution, and the overall balance of marine life. Flapjack octopuses are part of this complex food web, helping to maintain the seafloor ecology by eating small organisms and in turn providing food for larger species. Unfortunately, human activities such as deep sea mining, bottom trawling, and pollution pose threats to these delicate environments. Many deep sea creatures like flapjack octopuses have specialized habitats. When these habitats are disrupted or destroyed, it can take decades or even centuries for them to recover. On the bright side, research institutions, marine biologists, and environmental organizations are working tirelessly to understand these habitats better and advocate for conservation measures. Some places have started imposing regulations on deep sea fishing and mining to protect those fragile zones. By learning more about creatures like the flapjack octopus, we gain insight into how to best preserve the hidden world they call home. From their pancake-like poses to the possibility of being scientifically named Adorabilis, the flapjack octopus truly is one of the ocean's most whimsical creatures. Its story reminds us that the deeper we dive, the more wonders we discover, wonders that need our respect and protection. Thank you so much for joining me today on All Things Marine Life to learn about the incredible flapjack octopus. If you found this video interesting, hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into all things marine life. Let me know in the comments what deep sea creature you'd like me to cover next. There's always something new to explore under the ocean.